hey beauties welcome back to my channel hope everyone's in good spirits today i am reviewing this wig from assyria hair and before i get into that i'm just showing you some of the things that did come in the packaging they did include a couple of pretty scarves i don't know if that's something that they're selling or if they're giving it away with your purchase but i'm sure all the information will be provided in the links in the description box Okay, y'all, so this is the unit that I'm reviewing in today's video. This is a 22 inch. They said it's HD lace and it's a five by five closure. It has a standard wig construction and they did include this adjustable elastic band that you can sew on the inside of the cap. This is my first time actually seeing one that's like that. And I actually do prefer that because I do prefer to sew on my elastic bands than the one that are pre-made just so it's custom to my head. So I want to show you guys what the knots look like before I bleached it. I did contemplate whether or not I was going to bleach it or not, but I went ahead and did it. But as you can see, it wasn't bad. And I could have probably just finessed it by just adding powder to the cap, but I just went ahead and bleached it. So as you can see, it's a lot more cleaner once you do bleach the knots. And right here, I'm just separating some of the baby hairs that I do have planned for this particular install. I do want to try to have like, like some long baby hairs but we'll get to that a little bit later right now the first thing i'm gonna do is kind of tame this hairline to see what it's looking like before i decide on how i'm going to part it so i just added some of my faithfully asia beauty wax stick and i was always i'm using my hot comb just to lay that down so i do want to show you guys what the parting space on the 5x5 looks like as you guys can see the part actually looks pretty deep and you do have the flexibility of doing a middle part as well as doing the side parts so it's not that limited even though it is a closure so as you can see from the part some of the parting space did look a little black in the front where the stocking cap was pushed to the back so i went ahead and i added some of the makeup powder to the inside of the unit just to make that part and space look a little bit more cleaner and i opted to do a side part for this video so i'm just going ahead and taming the hair at the parting area before i begin the install So for today's video, I decided I was gonna use my glue and I decided to go with the Isha Absolute glue mainly because I just came back from vacation and that's the glue that I typically use when I'm on vacation. And if you were watching my stories on Instagram, wait, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a shameless plug and my Instagram handle across the screen so you can go ahead and do that. But if you guys did see my stories on Instagram, you saw that I just came from Jamaica and I was jumping off some cliff and waterfalls. And this Isha Absolute Glue is what I use and it held your girl down. I didn't have no mishaps. My wig stayed intact for the whole time. So they gonna get a thumbs up for my approval. And the reason I like to use them over as opposed like bold hold is because they're good for an actual good hold, but when I don't want it to last too long. Cause you guys who follow me, y'all already know that I don't particularly like to glue my units down because I don't like sleeping in my units. However, this glue is perfect to last like a few days it'll give you a good hold like if you're on vacation and then when you're ready it's easy to remove okay enough about that <laughs> now that i've already laid the unit down i'm just going over with the hot comb just to really press out that hairline and i also added a little bit of my got to be glue hairspray along the hairline just to make sure everything is nice and secure and then as always i tied it down with my elastic band for about five minutes and i didn't really go over five minutes because i did have somewhere to go tonight so i'm kind of moving through this So 
So once I took the elastic band off, I did go back over the hairline with some of that um, got to be glue hairspray just to get the little pieces that I may have missed with the glue. And then I'm just cleaning that up on my face before I go ahead and proceed with cutting those baby hairs. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, I am trying to go for a longer baby hair look for this video. You guys know I'm not really a big baby hair fan. And when I do my baby hairs, they're usually more natural looking and shorter. But I know the trend right now is to have these long baby hairs. A lot of them, to be honest, in my opinion, is like OD ridiculous. So I found somewhere that was like mid range. It's just not too ridiculously long, but it still gave you a little effect, you know, with a little swoop to swoop. So <laughs> after I did the baby hairs, at this point, what I'm trying to do is just kind of lay this unit down flat. So as I always tell you guys, it's imperative that you have like a wax stick and a hot comb because that's what really helps your units look a little bit more realistic. And if you really want your unit to be flat, what I've started doing is just kind of parting it and pressing it, not just at the top, but about a couple of inches, like maybe about starting like three inches from the top just so that the top of this install will be completely flat on the top not just coming up from the parting space so that's really just all i'm doing here And next, I'm just going over that scalp area with some of my Maybelline Fit Me powder. And I'm also using that same Fit Me powder to fill in the actual side part that I created. And last, before I'm done with this install, I decided to just throw a couple of curls up in this unit. I'm not really sure of the barrel size of this curling iron because this particular curling iron does come with adjustable head sizes. So they have everything from the small curling head, well, curling wand, I guess, attachments to the larger ones. And this is the what I'm using in this video is one of the larger ones. However, if you are looking for a new curling iron, I will have that link as always with everything else that's used in this video in the description box down below. And finally, when I actually get to the bang area, I did cut off a little bit of the hair just to help it create that bang effect and let it frame my face. I didn't cut it too short because I will probably be selling this unit, so I didn't want to customize it too much. But I do believe in cutting all of my units at least a little bit to framing your face. In my opinion, it helps the install look a lot better. So lastly, I just add some of my BioSilk hairspray and it has a perfect hold because it's a great hold for holding the curls, but not too hard to where it makes the hair stiff and you have to wash it. Um, and then I just add a little hair sheen to the end and voila, this is what the final look looks like. You guys see my little swoop to swoop baby hair. And this is Asteria hair. I honestly have never had any issues with Asteria hair. Right here, I'm just kind of showing you guys how long this hair um, falls on me as I mentioned this is 22 inches and the density is a 180 percent and I'm giving y'all a little view of what it looks like from the back so cute and I barely curled the back too it looks really pretty and as you can see I'm running my hands through this hair I didn't have no issues and I actually slept in this hair like two nights in a row without tying it down or anything and it did not knot up for some hair that I use you cannot do that because if you do not at least tie your hair down or something you're gonna wake up and your hair is gonna be a rat's nest but as i mentioned i've never had any issues with hysteria hair i have ordered with their hair before with my own money and i haven't had any issues so if you guys are interested in purchasing this as always everything will be in the description box down below but as always guys i'm gonna need your help naming this unit go ahead and leave a name suggestion in the comment section down below and i did pick a name for the unit i reviewed last week the new name as well as the person who submitted the name is across the screen dolls if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're not already part of that faithful fam smash that subscribe button before you leave and as always important you guys stay blessed and if it be god's will i'll see you in my next video take care now